For Dario De Senia, president of the Jewish community of Turin, Italy, Jewish leadership extends far beyond one city, or even one era. When we met him at the Grand Synagogue of Turin, he was happy to speak about his very active life in the Italian Jewish community. But first, about his long family roots in Italy. Well, I think that the family uh, comes from Spain after the expulsion of 1492, and it arrived uh, in Italy. Uh, my name is Di Segni. Is, uh, Segni is a small town near Rome, and then the family moved uh, to Tuscany. My family uh, came in Torino with my grandfather. My grandfather was the chief rabbi of this community. He began the translation of the Tanakh into Italian. It's a very huge uh, work. Torin is an industrial city in North Italy. It is a city of endless arcades, broad plazas, and renowned for its chocolates, coffee houses, and castles. The Jewish community origins date back to the 15th century. As with other Jews of Italy, they face persecution, forced to live in ghettos. After the emancipation of the 19th century, the community celebrated by building the Great Synagogue, the centerpiece of Turin's Jewish life. It also ushered in an era of outsized Jewish cultural achievement. I can quote uh, Rita Levi Montalcini, I can quote uh, Salvador Luria. They are both uh, uh, sons of the community uh, of Torino, and they are Nobel Prizes. The most famous of Turin's Jews was Primo Levi, a former chemist and renowned author. Deported to Auschwitz during the war, his memoirs of the Holocaust and other books are world acclaimed. The Holocaust, emigration, and assimilation of Turin's Jews have left the community small and fragile. The uh, maximum uh, number of people was uh, about four or five thousand before the war, and now uh, we are really a small community because now the number of the uh, community members is uh, about 900 people. Dario's leadership in Jewish life is on a much larger canvas than Turin. His role as chairman of the new National Museum of Italian Judaism and the Shoah is a major responsibility. So we have uh, two uh, millennium of uh, presence in Italy and uh, the history of the Jewish community is really linked with the history of uh, Italian society. In periods, of course, we were a period of uh, uh, good relations and uh, good cooperations, and uh, of course, uh, very dark periods uh, where persecution, expulsions. The first exhibit tells the story of the most ancient Jewish life in the diaspora, the first thousand years of Italian Jewish history. The exhibition is called uh, Jews uh, in Italian Story. We are worried at this moment because intolerance uh, and uh, renewal of uh, phenomenon of uh, anti-Semitism, uh, xenophobia uh, and racism are, are more and more rising, not only in Italy, but uh, all, all, all over Europe. He sees the museum as serving an important purpose in the current environment. Uh, the role of the museum, for instance, is, is very important because the role of the museums, which uh, gives the history of a minority who was uh, integrated in the Italian society and at the same time maintained uh, its identity, cultural and religious, without being assimilated, is really a model, is a, really a point of reference for the Italian societies uh, of nowadays. I think that uh, what uh, the example given by the uh, Jewish community uh, in Italy is something to, to think of because it could be a model of inclusion and at the same time uh, of maintaining and reinforcing uh, cultural uh, identity. He doesn't think the word museum adequately captures what is being achieved. 
we interpret uh, this uh, word museum uh, in a very innovative way, not uh, as a something of the past, but something that looks at the future.